Hi there, come on in. And a very, very Merry Christmas to each of you from all of us. I'm Gary Moore, and many of the people that you are looking at right now are children and families of the people who work on our show. Uh, some of them have real secrets, which are secret from the panel, and which we will be sharing with you in just a moment. On this, a very special family edition of I've Got a Secret. I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Sounds like I brought my family. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, officially. Let us meet our panel on this fine night. Merry Christmas to you, Bill Cullen. Merry Christmas to you, Gare. And to you, Jane Meadows. And to you, Gary. Merry Christmas, Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> and to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Henry. <laughs> and to you. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you, Faye. Thank you, Gary. Merry Christmas. You ladies no doubt noticed something rather rare and unusual about the earrings that both Jane and Faye were wearing, so I suggest that to show them off in their best light, we have to reduce the light we have here. Can we take the house lights down and get a close-up there? Isn't that the wildest? General Electric sent those to the ladies, and I think they're very spectacular indeed. <laughs> Christmas, I mean, Christmas tree ornaments for earrings that really light. Now, panel, while we're in the thank you department, we have thanked General Electric. I have another wonderful uh, Christmas present for all of us on the show from the newspaper television critics all over the country. This year, and it makes two years in a row for us, I'm happy to say, they have voted I've Got a Secret, the winner of the Look Magazine Award for the best quiz or panel show on TV. And there is... Um, There's a whole mishigas about it in the, in the current issue here. has a picture of Bill Cullen. And, uh, <laughs> well, that picture alone is worth buying the magazine, anyhow. And we are terribly, terribly grateful. And so with all the thank yous to one side, let us then greet our first contestant. <laughs> now, our first contestant is nine months old. And he was escorted out here by, or was, she was escorted out here by her mother, who is Judy Crichton of our research staff. And this is Jennifer Crichton. Hello, Jennifer. Hi. Nothing. Hasn't got much on our mind right at the moment. Now, on tonight's show, since the contestants are members of our own families and children at that, the prize money for a change will range from 20 cents to a grand maximum of 80 cents, <laughs> according to how long it takes the panel to discover their secret. Now, since Jennifer isn't old enough to whisper to me, I'm going to ask her mother, Judy, to whisper the secret, and we'll show it to you out there. I would like a little clarification on this, please. To help classify Jennifer's secret, and her mother will answer for her, it concerns a relative of Jennifer's. And Bill, I think we'll start with you. Uh, gee, Gary, I'm not much at talking to uh, ba Goo, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, is this relative of yours, the, who the, what this concerns about, is it your mother? No, it's not. Father? Nope. Uh, oh, then I better go somewhere. Grandparents? Yes. On, uh, does it matter on whose side? Yes. Uh, grandfather? Yes. Uh, would it help if I knew his name? No. Is it something... You would know the name, however. $20 down and $60... Oh, no, not $20. I'm a bear. Sorry, I forgot. Christmas show, and it's, um... <laughs> See, now, now, I pushed the wrong button. I got a quarter out. How do you... You put that back. Where's the darn thing? Oh, here it is. 20 cents down Thanks. and 60 cents to go, and we go to Jane Meadows. Judy. If Jennifer doesn't mind younger men, I'd like to date her up right now for Billy. We'd love her. <laughs> She's adorable. Uh, does this... Uh, grandfather, it is? Is yes. that right? Now, don't you have a relative who's a famous writer? Crichton? Yes. Very is bad. it by any chance... Uh, no, it has nothing to do no. with him. No. Is this person, would we know him by name or by profession? You might, but it wouldn't be important. It doesn't have anything to do with the secret? No. Uh, does it have anything to do with something that he did? No. Something that he is? 
No. Something that happened to him? <laughs> Just a minute, she dropped her toy. We may have a crisis. Hold the phone. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Did you get that look she threw me? Or what are you doing with my toy? Yeah. All right, and so we have lost, um, we, have, uh, we have lost another 20 cents. And uh, so we go to Henry Morgan with 40 cents to go. Uh, uh, Judy, would this uh, grandparent be on your side of the family? Yes, he is. Uh, something he is. Oh, no, I'm sorry I didn't pay attention when uh, we had party. Um... Your father, uh, yeah, yeah. He um, is it. Is there a title connected uh, to it? Well, the, no, only only grandfather. But yeah. the secret concerns this young lady, Jennifer, and her grandfather. Well, does it have something to do uh, with? I, I'll give you a further hint. It is something that is happening. Now that's really being. <laughs> Oh, I think well, uh, uh, it's perfectly obvious they're both growing older. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we have blown another 20 cents, and we have 20 cents more to go, and we'll go to Faye. Is it something that, Gen that Jennifer's wearing, Judy? No, it's not. Is her, uh, tell me, has her grandfather ever seen her? No, he's not. Is he seeing her for the very first yes, time? Yes, he is. Right now. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer's grandfather lives in Beverly Hills, California, and up until now has never seen anything but a snapshot of his lovely granddaughter. So he's seeing her for the first time. Jennifer, will you wave at your granddad? What is granddad's name? Ben Finer. Wait, wave at Ben out there. Wave okay. at granddad. Out, th out that way. <laughs> well, she's too busy playing with the microphone. She's going to end up on the panel, I guess. <laughs> Judy, thank you very, very much. You have won your 80 cents, a carton of Winston's from us to you, and above all, our thanks. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> By the way, we're not trying to save money tonight by giving the children so small prizes. We are matching this in dollars. Anything that we give out in cents, we will later match in dollars to the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, which sends a medicine and food to help some 45 million children in over 100 different countries. We just don't have to think it's wise for young people to get too large a prize. Now then, will our next contestant come in, please? Will you tell us what, 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 is, what is your name? <laughs> what, 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 is, what, what is your name? <laughs> She's just enchanted with the sight of herself on television. There's a monitor down here that she can look at and see herself. What, what, what is your name, honey? What's your name? <laughs> Susie is your name. <laughs> Susan, Susan Feldman, her father is associate producer on our show. Now let's see what Miss Feldman is up to here according to my card. Oh, she has a real quick secret, which is it happens 50% of our panel knows about, the other 50% does not. Therefore, you will be given only one shot each at the, at the answer. So, um, will you whisper your secret to me, Susan? What? to me, and we will give Bill Cullen one guess at it. Uh, I sort of think I know, and I hate to just go out and guess and uh, deprive Susan of the 20 cents. Does it have to do with a godfather? Yes. I better pass, then. We'll pass you. Let's go to Jane. Well, I guess I'm the only one on the panel that doesn't know. I'm... Are you her godfather? Uh... Jane! I'm wrong! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Who is her godfather? Somebody in television. Somebody right. in television. Is it somebody on this panel? Yes. Henry. Henry is right. And guess who her godmother is? Say. You bet. <laughs> Let's see how much she is aware of this. Susie, 
Uh, you, you know Henry Morgan. What, what is he to you? He's your what? Fairy godfather. He's your fairy godfather. Okay. All right. <laughs> what about... What about Faye? What about, what about Miss Faye over here? Is she your fairy godmother? She's your fairy godmother. All right, well, you have won uh, uh, 80 cents tonight. You sleepy? Huh? Yeah. Well, you won 80 cents tonight, and uh, so we will send that along to you. And do you want to go over and give a, a, a big Christmas kiss to, uh, to your godfather and your, and your godmother? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, 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 we finished the spot then. Do you want to do the exit that you just did all by yourself a minute ago? <laughs> Thank you very much, Susan, for being with us tonight. Susan Phelps. <laughs> Her name is Susan Margaret Feldman. She's named after me, her middle name, at least partly me. That's true indeed. And a delightful Well, actually, delightful. her name is uh, Susan, Susan Margaret, Margaret Henry. Henry Feldman. There you go. Oh, I want you to meet a very fine young man. Young man? It's all up in the book. I hope I don't humiliate you by lifting you. You're a much older man than that. Now, what is your name and how old are you? Robert Sherman. I'm almost eight. Robert Sherman. Robbie Sherman, and he's almost eight. Now, did your father work on this show? Yes. What is your father's job? He produces it. He's the producer. Can you explain to the people what a producer does? What does your father do? He plans the things for the show. He plans the things for the show. All right, that's a pretty good explanation. Now, this being uh, Christmas, friends, we would like to to undo a great injustice that was done to Robbie Sherman right on this show. When Robbie was five years old, he was on I've Got a Secret. Isn't that right? Yes. Now, what did you do on that time when you were on the show? I rode a lion. He rode a lion. A-L-I-O-N, uh, uh, lion. Now, uh, here comes the part about the injustice. A few months after Robbie was on the show, when he was in the first grade, each child was asked to rise in, in the classroom <laughs> and tell about some experience he'd had. So Robbie got up and said that once he'd been on television. Well, not too many kids have been on television, so most of them didn't believe that to begin with. <laughs> so anyhow, one wise guy got up and he said, look, all right, you were on television. What did you do on television? And what'd you tell him? I wrote a lion. <laughs> he said, I wrote a lion. Well, you can imagine what happened. <laughs> most of the kids didn't believe him, and his teacher actually took him aside and gave him a very somber talk on the value of always telling the truth. <laughs> And for two years now, poor Robbie has been walking around telling people this, and nobody believes him, especially grown-ups. He says, I wrote a lie, and they say, sure, you did. But tonight, justice will prevail at last. <laughs> Friends, I intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that this brave young man who has stuck to his story since he was five years old was telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. As proof, I offer you Exhibit A. Exhibit A is an actual film of this program made on September 28th, 1955, showing this brave lad riding a lion. And you are there. We've got a young gentleman off stage here who is, uh, his name is, is Robbie. Robbie Sherman. Robbie, are you here? Robbie, come out. Now, Robbie didn't need to under the <laughs> Can you, can you, one get, one go for a ride, Robbie? Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> well, you notice no claws. No, never, never put your claws on. Now then, now let's raise that and take Robbie for a ride. Yeah, She's had a hard couple of days. She was on the morning show with me this morning. Take Robbie for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> now, Robbie Sherman, as is further proof, I give you Exhibit B. I give you this card to keep in your pocket at all times, and it reads, and I quote, it says, This boy did so ride a live lion on television, and I saw him do it too, so nyeh. And it's signed Gary Moore. 
So you have won 80 cents. Now, wait a minute, 80 cents, um, um, 75, and one nickel. Which, where's the nickel? Down uh, over here. One nickel, there's your 80 cents. And, Robbie, thanks very much for being with us. And when the people tell you that you didn't ride a line, don't flip your wig. You'll be all right, okay? <laughs> Now, may we have our next contestant, please? Now, these young ladies will start their secret by serving a sort of a Christmas dessert to the members of our panel. This is mincemeat pie and glass of milk. Mincemeat pie and glass of milk. Now, these young ladies are the daughters of our director, Paul Alter. Their names are Amy and Wendy. And Amy and Wendy, as soon as you get the table over here, off there, I'll ask you to come over here and join me. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Fine. All right, now let's pull in real close. And panel, will you all just proceed to eat? You'll find it most enjoyable, I'm sure. Now, panel, I'm going to have the two young ladies whisper their secret to me, and we will share it there at home. Here we go. To help classify this secret, I will tell you it concerns... <laughs> be, be not afraid, be not afraid. But I will tell you, however, that their secret concerns the food that you are eating. <laughs> Where did we leave off in the last secret with Faye? I believe we did, didn't we? I think you did. So, Bill, let's start with you. You want to go around? I don't trust this show where food is concerned. <laughs> uh, is it have, does it have to do with what is in this food? No. Oh. <laughs> does it have to do with who prepared... Excuse me, I shouldn't do that. With who prepared this food? No. Does it have to do with something that happened to this food? No. That was a doubtful no from... Well, uh, we could possibly give you a fuzzy yes on that, but you wouldn't like us for it eventually. Uh, is this food different than ordinary food that one might get at home, for instance? No. I would say this, that its basic ingredients and all, all, <laughs> all the things in it are the same, but there is a circumstance surrounding it which is quite different. <laughs> 20 cents to these young ladies, 60 uh, cents to go, one, two, three, four, there we go. And we'll go to Jane, please. Would we be interested in when or where this was made? Yes. <laughs> How many years ago? Wait till I taste the milk. <laughs> well, the milk's fresh. True. Unless this milk has been kept for a long time, is this very old food? We have yes. to say partially. The, is the milk the, all of it, pardon? Is the milk the fresh part and the, uh, the pie is the old part? <laughs> yes. Is it very, very old pie? Yes. Well, it's delicious. How old is it? Is it beyond five years? Yes. Beyond ten years? Yes. Beyond help? <laughs> beyond help? Yes. How old is it? Is it not beyond 20 or 25 years? Yes. 50 years? Yes. A hundred years? No. no. What do you think we're going to say? Think we're going to serve you stale food? <laughs> <laughs> the panel the milk pie served you is 81 years old. <laughs> and don't be concerned because it's perfectly good. It was made in 1876 by Atmore and Son Incorporated, and it was preserved with foil and with cork. It was stored in their basement and was not discovered until a couple of years ago when Atmore moved to a new building. They had the, uh, the mince meat tested by a food testing laboratory. It turned out to be perfectly edible, perfectly healthy. It, for one thing, is preserved in brandy. Oh. oh. Yes, uh... If it's so good, how come it took Atmore 81 years to sell it to somebody? <laughs> Firm, it doesn't feel it has to move his merchandise. Well, that's fast. <laughs> big inventory. As a matter of fact, they presented it to the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, where it has been on display for the last few years. 
And incidentally, this company is still manufacturing mincemeat and plum pudding. So, <laughs> ladies, you won a total of, we're going to give you the complete 80 uh, cents so that we may give $80 to uh, UNICEF. Let me get my money finger going here. There you go. Thank you very much for being with us. Do come back and see us again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Nobody's going to believe me. This is an excellent game to play at home. Yeah. No, my Not with these people. <laughs> Panel, this card is all red velvet, sort of, with gold lettering and inside of just the names of the senders. Who sends a card that's bright red with gold lettering that just says Merry Christmas? Quite a few people. Quite a few. All right. Listen, time's running out. I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the truth. The one we just showed you with some Mary and Jack Benny. Mary and Jack. Fat Jack, Jack Leonard sent Henry. Fat Jack, just, Lucy and Daisy. Yeah. Same card. I what care? Henry, I was just sent a card that says on it, cut. Good night. <laughs> the great Thanks, day. Henry, very much. <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. This is John Cannon speaking. <laughs>